Hey everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. Today I am in the kitchen again. Not cooking again. <laughs> Surprise. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm making an alternative, sort of like a backup to my um, my all-natural uh, Vim copycat uh, all-purpose cleaner. This is a powder, just like, like Ajax or you know, Bon Ami or Comet, uh, something like that. So what I wanted to do was, just in case, because it does take a little little while to, to mix everything with the Vim copycat, I'm going to do a powdered alternative. So let's get started on that. Okay, I've got a bowl here, and I've got one cup of baking soda. You need two cups in total, and two. Got some on my counter here. Now, what else I'm going to need? The rest of the items are going to be all half cups, and uh, I'm going to take half a cup of sea salt. You can use pretty much any sea, any kind of salt uh, if you want to use a cheaper uh, brand of uh, like a iodized. Then go ahead. I'm going to add the sea salt there, and I'm using. Uh, just a medium grain, uh, medium grain um, uh, salt here. I'm also going to need half a cup, again, half a cup of citric acid right here. And don't worry about the lumps because you'll be stirring it out. And I need half a cup of super washing soda. Boy, this thing is heavy. And you can find that in your local grocery aisle. At your local grocery store. In your uh, laundry laundry detergent. Then what I'm going to do, and this is an unusual, uh, an unusual uh, particular uh, ingredient, is I'm going to use three tablespoons of cream of tartar. Now, the reason why I'm using cream of tartar is that it's a great stain remover uh, for porcelain and stainless steel. So it's effective, uh, it's effective with, uh, against uh, bathtub ring and so forth. So it's a great, great ingredient to use. And there's one. Two. And three. This is... You're noticing probably with uh, a lot of the items that I make, uh, the natural items that I make uh, um, for cleaning supplies and that, there's a pattern here because a lot of these cleaners require pretty much the same uh, uh, ingredients but in different formulations. So um, really, you're not going to be spending a whole bunch of extra money um, by uh, getting these, uh, uh, having to buy special, specially made uh, items for various uh, household cleaners because a lot of them are compatible with each other. So I'm just giving this a stir now, giving it a good mix and what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably end up putting this in a bag eventually uh, and then just uh, scoop it out as needed. But uh, yeah, so like they're interchangeable pretty much. So you're not really spending um, uh, a lot of money on uh, various items because for, for different uh, applications like, you know, liquids, uh, like the liquid vim or, or, or this, or even um, doing uh, a cleaner for cleaning upholstery and so forth. They're, uh, they're interchangeable. And I mean, you'll always have them on hand, whether or not you're cooking with them or not. Uh, but uh, like washing soda for laundry and, and, and all sorts of different things. So, you know, they're quite, uh, these ingredients are quite universal. So you're not going out and spending tons and tons of monies on uh, various uh, cleaning products. I want to get back to a more natural lifestyle. And this is just another replacement that I'll be uh, implementing in my home for use around the house. So now after all is said and done, you're going to add 
uh, about eight drops to this whole amount, eight drops of uh, lemon essential oil. Okay, so I lied, nine. <laughs> and you're going to add um, pine. Now you're kind of wondering why I'm adding pine. And I'm adding the same amount. Uh, lemon, uh, lemon essential oil is known as a, a well, a, well known as a cleaning agent, and it's uh, cleansing and purifying, and it purifies the air and the surface that you're, you're actually sprinkling this on. White fur is uh, supports clean breathing and respiratory function and energizes the body and mind. So, um, it's, it's good to smell these things rather than, you know, and it helps you rather than uh, breathing in the, the powders, uh, the chemicals in the powders. Like, uh, from what I understand, uh, Bonami uh, is probably one of the closest uh, to a more natural uh, store-bought version, but uh, I still like uh, being able to uh, spend pennies on this than... Uh, then quite a bit more money on uh, the store-bought version. So now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, stick this in a jar or you know you can even use a, an old uh, shaker from from you know Comet or Bon Ami or whatever. <laughs> So I'll give you a little demonstration about how uh, how well this uh, stuff does and grab a teaspoon for now I still have it put it in a container so what you're gonna do is just like you know Dutch cleanser or Bonami or Comet you're just gonna sprinkle it in and you're gonna scrub and you can see that the citric acid is really starting to work and it's like my sink was relatively uh, actually stain ridden with uh, you know tea and coffee and so forth so uh, it smells so nice with that pine and you can use any type of scrubber I mean if you if you have a uh, this is one of my uh, handmade uh, scrubbers that I used with uh, sisal uh, fibers. Uh, I did a crochet pattern from this. Uh, and inside is a uh, soft sponge. If you want to go and check out my, uh, my Instagram page, it'll, uh, it'll show and give you a description of what I did, how I, how I made it. So, and I just, just used sisal uh, thread or uh, raffia or whatever else kind of natural fiber you want. And like I said, you just put in not a lot. You don't need to, to do a lot of elbow grease but uh, you have to put put a little bit in there and there you go nice and clean so thanks for joining me catch you in the next one